hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today in this video i'm going to show you how we can include css and js uh, into the wordpress so first uh, let me log into my local wordpress and let's see if our custom plugin is activated or not so we will continue working on our custom plugin so if you are new to our video then uh, please check out the video in which I have showed you how to create a custom plugin for WordPress and link is coming into the top right corner into the I button so if I go to plugins so yeah um, custom plugin is activated so now let's go to the files and WP content plugins my plugins and let me open this file custom actions filters.php so to include css and js wordpress has an action and what action is that the action is wp and q, and q scripts so whenever you want to add uh, css or js you need to use this action that's pretty ideal and it is recommended by wordpress as well and the callback function and now let's add JS first so ideally JS uh, most of the developer adds JS into the assets folder so let's create a new folder called assets so the CSS JS and images uh, are considered as an asset so into the asset I will be adding one more folder which is JS and into the JS I'm going to add a new file called plugin.js so now this file is added now we have to include that file into our page so uh wordpress in wordpress we have this function wpnq script so we can use that and we can use a couple of arguments so first argument is handle so handle is kind of identifier of your js so uh, you can add as per your need as of now i will add as per my plugin name so my plugin script so this is the identifier or handle and another one second argue second parameter will be src means uh, url of the js so to define url of js let's go to plugins main file and let's define constant define plugin url
and let's define plugins URL let me open my other reference plugin like this so this is the standard way to define your plugin URL so I will add that to my plugins main file so now uh, if we print this constant we should have URL of our current plugin so let's refresh this And as you can see, it is giving us our plugins URL. So this is the WordPress plugin, which uh, we uh, sorry WordPress function, which uh, uh, gives us a current plugins URL. So now our URL is defined. Constant is defined for the plugin URL. We can simply use that constant over here so assets js plugin dot js and for the sake of adding drilling slash we will we can use trailing slash it plugin so what this uh, trailing slash is slash it function so what this function does it adds a slash at the end of the URL if it doesn't exist otherwise it doesn't add it so now uh, this my plugin URL asset js plugin so this should be a correct url and after doing this uh, this plugin dot js will be included in our page so let's refresh this and let's view page source and let's find this identifier into the browser control f So as you can see, uh, let's see if I can zoom it or not. Okay, yeah. So as you can see, our JS is added. Dash JS is added from the WordPress site. So this is how you can add uh, search using your identifier. And this is the URL localhost WordPress content plugin, my plugin assets js plugin.js let me click on that it's blank because we haven't added anything let's quickly add alert not alert console.log and let's refresh this so we have this print again and we can confirm using inspect element let's go to console and let's refresh this so as you can see our script has been added let's keep this as it is as of now now uh, let's add CSS at the same way you can add CSS as well but instead of script you can you have to add style so WP and Q style will add styles so 
so I will add it into CSS folder and I will give it a name plugin.css so into the assets sorry oh no CSS login dot CSS and let's add body display block so same way uh, just change a function name WP and Q style first argument is identifier and another one is the URL of the CSS so now refresh this and let's confirm with view page source and we will search this identifier Oops. control F and yeah so it will add prefix dash CSS so yeah this is our CSS added over here my plugin asset CSS and yep so this is how we can add CSS and JS into our WordPress pages so here if you want to add particular CSS on particular page then you can add your condition over here and based on your condition uh, You will have CSS on that particular page like this So if you want to have the CSS and JS only loading on the page Then you have to write condition like this so anyways now let's check let's further check uh, this function parameters so there are two parameters required others are optional but let's check um, how we can use these parameters so first we will check parameters for nq script so these two we have used already now third one is a dependency it is optional so what is dependency so it is an array of registered script handles this script depends on so uh, many time uh, your script will depend on jquery or many or, or you have some other script or library at that time you can use this uh, third parameter which is an array of dependency and how this dependency parameter adds let me show you so as of now we I am adding jquery uh, that means this my script is depends on jquery uh, for example if you have another script and which is depends on your this script so at that time this identifier will be added into the dependency like this so this is how dependency is added and you can add more than one into the array then the, this will be version so if you want to have your script uh, versionized then you can add your version over here or if you want to have a version similar to your plugins version then you can define version over here and you can make change of your version on your each 
uh, release then you can use this constant as a version over here so that on each new version it will change your script version as well so if you if you if I can show you what version is this right now it is displaying 5.8 which is my WordPress version so if we don't define any version it will take a WordPress version and uh, then so whether you want to load this script into footer or not by default it loads in head but if you want to load this in footer then last parameter make it true but as of for now I am not going to add this in footer so after saving this let me show you by refreshing this view source and so now if you can see the version is changed to 1.0.0 and as it is depends on jquery it comes after the jquery and it is under the head section now let me make it footer true so by default it will load into the footer so remember the line number it's 42 now refresh and there is no script at 42 so where is it where it is it is into the footer so as you can see now it is coming right into the footer section before body tag so this is how you can use parameters and uh, parameters for the WP and crew script and based on your requirement you can add your script wherever you want now let's check the WP and Q style so WP and Q style has the same dependency version and last one is media um, I don't have that much info about media but you can check it by yourself so yeah there is not much to show uh, these parameters for the style because it's all the similar to the script so I hope uh, by this video you understand how we can add uh, script and style please let me know if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching